Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look. So, hey, Dave, let's have a, a look at uh, an interesting situation in uh, old school tactical and the Rotten Creek scenario. Uh, it's the beginning of turn five, and the Soviets rolled three dice and only picked up five impulse points, and the Germans picked up nine with, again with the two with the two dice rolled. So, quite a disparity, and. What I decided to attempt to try and do as the Germans is try and see if I can knock out this uh, stack, which was here, uh, in, 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 and assault this stack. So what, I was, what I'm doing is uh, consolidating two forces, and then I'm going to attack it. And he, here's the sequence of events that happened so far. We went, uh, this, this stack was here. These guys, uh, this stack was here when they went one two, three to there inside the building, okay? And what we're gonna do next, so these guys saw that, right? Like, well, gee, they're, maybe they're gonna try and come at us, or maybe we've got an opportunity to come at them. So we're gonna close in, and we're going to assault move in in the next activation. So watch, I'm gonna move. There's no opportunity fire, because I'm only with one hex in my last my last hex I move into, I cannot be opportunity fired. So watch, two movement points to there. This guy can't opportunity fire and he could see, because we ignore this little piece of art, we ignore these little bits and pieces like this, uh, basically, basically from what I can tell from the rules, uh, when, we're, when we're checking line of sight, uh, it doesn't fill the whole hex. Uh, same as, oh, look, I'm not going to get into it right now. I want to focus on this. So no opportunity fire from there. No opportunity fire from here. He could opportunity fire uh, if it was, if this guy was going to move to here, he could have opportunity fired there, but he can't opportunity fire. If I was going to go four moving points, two, four, I could opportunity fire here, but not here. Okay, so I move to here and I go, oh, I'm done. That's it. No opportunity fire. Well, now it's the Germans activation. So now the Germans, knowing that these guys are here, they can only fire or assault move left. Uh, we know they have that activation left. I've only got one stack here, so I need to improve my defense here. Uh, and I also want to consolidate forces to attack. So I'm gonna grab this dude and move him. So he is gonna move one hex to here. That's two movement points and he's gonna jump into this hex. So he is now also moved with the leader. Well, not with the leader, but into the leader's hex. And that is one hex, and he doesn't get opportunity fired at by these guys. So now I gotta pay, uh, so I pay my impulse point, and these guys, let me see, do they pay? That was two, and I've moved those, that's two. No, I have not moved, I haven't paid, so I'm down to one. So now it's the, it's the Soviets move. The opportunity to move, I uh, just realized they're kind of screwed because they can't move now. They can't assault move. They need two uh, impulse points to close assault. So they kind of they kind of host themselves. They don't have enough points left. Five, right? Did I say five? I did, didn't I? One, two, three. That's right. Okay. So because they have less impulse points than the enemy, they can actually say, hey, I'm going to pass. So they'll pass. Uh, well, actually, wait. What they can do is this. What they can do is they can fire one unit in this stack. Let's just fire this guy. He's going to fire with a five. All right. And he has a strength of five. And he's firing at these fellas here. Let's do that. These guys, he's, they're going to fire at the, the assault team with a defense of three. Actually, they're gonna fire this guy that has the uh, bundle of grenades. So they're gonna fire this guy with a strength of three. He's in the building. That gives them an extra two, I believe. Yes, two. So defense of five. And a, and a combat value of five. So that's gonna be five versus five is zero. Now, we do get a plus one to the die roll for uh, something. Uh, plus one of the firepower for being adjacent. So we got that going for us. Uh, so that's a, we're on the one table now. And I have a leader with me. 
and he can, uh, an attached leader no less, so that adds one to my die roll modifier. So that gets me uh, one column plus one. So let's just roll two dice. And roll seven, which is probably gonna be good enough to do some sort of damage. Uh, on the one column with a seven, I have a broken result. Oh, but it's an eight. I have a casualties result. Okay, so these guys take casualties. Now they don't roll for, um, they don't roll for anything. They don't roll to be a broken or shaken. They just, they just take casualties and they're still fine. Now, because I took casualties, the leader in this X, I believe he's going to have to uh, roll for uh, a result. He might die. I think I roll one die, so let me put that back and I'm going to roll one die. Okay, what does that mean when I roll a five? Casualty roll for a leader, I think it's going to be fine. On a roll of one, the leader is destroyed. Got it. Yeah, it would have been fine. Okay. Pass to gut check or no result, no leader casualty roll. All right, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so that guy fired. These guys moved. I think that's right. Now, I, so what have I done now as the Soviets? I used my last point. I've now weakened this potential assault here. It's going to be seven factors attacking, but I still got this. Um, I think I'm going to go for it anyway. So now the the Germans will spend two points to activate uh, both, uh, uh, use two impulse points to use both of these guys with their leader, and they're going to assault move into the hex. So here we go. I'm going to take these things off here now. You know what? I don't need to do that right yet, though. Let's do this. Watch. I'm going to wait. They're out of points. I got time. We don't need to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to move this guy adjacent. That's a, a move. So he moves and pays one point and spends a point. And uh, the, the uh, Soviets have to pass. This guy says, hey, I'm going to shoot. So now he's going to fire. And that's going to be his second activation for the turn. And so, in fact, that guy is not, it's not only fired, but he's used down here. That's what it looks like. All right, so now this dude's going to fire. I'm just going to roll two dice. We'll work out the numbers in a second. Oh, I rolled a nice nine. Okay, we rolled a nine. We're going to fire at the... I'm going to say, if there's a guy has got a Molotov cocktail, we're going to... Use, we're going to we're going to fire at that guy. No, they don't, so none of them do. So we're going to fire at the uh, top squad. I roll a nine. It's four factors versus a defense of four. So it's a zero attack, but the terrain has two values. So it's a minus two attack. Minus two attack. I don't get any benefit from the leader, I don't believe. Do I get a benefit from the leader with his command range? Will that be of assistance? I think you've got to be stacked or attached. I believe you do. So no. So I am rolling up a raw minus two, and I rolled a nine, and that is going to be good enough to make these guys do a break check. So we've got a potential broken opportunity here. I'm going to roll two dice. And they roll a four, which means they fail the break test. So they're broken. Well, those guys are, are hosed, my friends. Just that top one is broken now. This guy is now used. And it's the Soviets are done. And then now I'm going to use this leader. And I'm going to uh, do a group. I'm going to do a group assault move into there. That's two points. So I'm going to move that down two points. So now we go into here. I'm just going to take now I'm going to take these things off of here. I'm going to take this off of here. And I'm going to assault into there. Malay assault move, and now it becomes a Malay hex. Okay. Now we're going to assume that the Germans don't do anything else for the rest of the turn, and we're just going to resolve the Malay in the Malay phase, which comes at immediately the end of all the all the activations. So let's resolve the Malay. I'm going to zoom out so we can see this a little bit. And I, hopefully, this won't take too long. Okay, guys, just bear with me here. Okay. 
hopefully this will make sense to you if I lay it out like this. Okay. Let's, the only thing I'm going to check to see is if the broken unit gets a, a, has a value of 1 or not on the, on the combat. So hang on one sec. Okay, I think uh, what happens with the broken unit in Malay is that they do not return fire. It doesn't say whether or not they, uh, whether or not their value is counted though. Uh, I'm just looking for tank duels of Malay phases. Let me screen through the rules real quick here. I'm going to pause the camera. Okay, the the rules are the rules are actually a little unclear here. It, it, it makes sense, but it's unclear. It says broken units do not get an attack roll in the melee. So that does that mean that we don't count their defensive value though? That's what I don't understand. Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on. Maybe I'm thinking about doing this wrong. Attacks on each side are resolved to return to see. Yeah, we. Uh, hang on. Here it is. It says each side adds up the defense numbers of all the units in the melee to arrive at the total defense. So I guess the defense factor does count. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this. Uh, <coughs> Combat value of 7 plus 3 is 10 versus 8 defense. Uh, 9 defense. So I've got 10 plus 1 for the leader in, in Malay. So I've got 11 versus 9. 11 versus 9 is going to be a plus 2 attack. Wait, does that Malay... Um, does that Malay value... Uh, Malay value... It's 2 for the Malay as well. <coughs> Total, so 7, 10, 11, 13 versus 13 versus 9. So that's going to be a plus 4 attack. Plus 4 attack, and I roll a 6 plus 1. Do I get 1 for the leader? Is that a double count for the leader? I don't know. I'm not going to add 1 for the leader. I'm just going to leave it as a 6. Uh, and it's a break on all the units so I'm just gonna put broken markers down for these guys even though he already has one we're just gonna put a broken marker down there okay now these guys get to attack but they only have five plus one for leader is six plus one for plus two for the Malay that's eight right let me just make a note of that I should have written this down before that's eight and these guys have a defense of, that's gone, a defense of 6, 7. So it's only going to be a plus 1 attack. And they roll a 6 also, plus 1 attack. And I roll a 6, did I say that? Suppression check, so it's going to be a suppression. So these guys, or shake, these guys are all going to shake. <coughs> so now we're going to roll for the, let's roll for the shakes, okay? So here's a the shake. They pass. And these guys fail. So these guys are shaking because they only rolled a four. And you have to roll seven or better. These guys are going to roll nine or better. Let's roll for this guy first. Oh, they pass. They roll nine. So that's okay. He's not broken. This guy is already broken. I don't, I don't think two breaks do anything. Uh, but I do believe that that will cause a problem for them. Uh, the le and a problem for the leader. So let's just pause a second. And you know what? We actually need to uh, do a roll for each unit. That's the way the attack works. So let's say that was a shake and that was a break. And now I'm going to roll for this one. It's a plus one. He rolled an eight on the plus one column. And eight on the plus one column. There's going to be casualties. Okay. And that means I'm going to have to check for the leader. Leader rolls a two. Okay, let's make a note of that. Two. And over here, I had a plus four attack. So the other guy's going to get the plus four. He rolls an eight as well. That's kind of funny. Eight on the plus four is casualties plus a, plus a suppression check. Let's roll for suppression. And they fail the suppression. So they for sure uh, suppressed. And I'm out of counters. Is 
not suppressed, it's shaken, but whatever. It's all the same. Okay. Right. No. Did I say uh, it was casualties, wasn't it? Eight. Eight. Eight is casualties broken. Why did I... Uh, I want a plus four. Okay, yeah, so I got it. Okay, that's good. Leader's got a roll. Leader rolls a five. He's good. This other leader on a one. He's destroyed. Gut check. I don't know why I'm making a gut check. Why am I making a gut check? And he does okay on the gut check. That's fine. All right, so this guy's good. He's good. This guy's broken. He was already broken. So... Okay, so now we're going to retreat everybody out of the hex, or are those that are broke or are shaken. So it'll be these guys. These guys were broken, received a broken result. So they're going to retreat out of the hex, and we're going to actually retreat to here. These guys are a mess, and these guys will have to retreat, but these guys will stay. And they're, I think we leave them away. We don't leave that on there anymore. And that, my friends, is a melee. Each unit, you add up the total combat factors, and each unit, and get the, the, the column that you're resolving on, and each unit is attacked, except for the leaders. The leaders are, are rolled uh, only if there's casualties or uh, morale check, gut check things. Okay, I hope that made sense. There you have it. Uh, we'll move on to the next turn.